This is a Star News Brief. I'm Samuel Otieno. United States President Joe Biden has sent a high-ranking delegation of six top government officials to grace President-elect William Ruto swearing in. On Sunday, the White House announced it had dispatched a strong diplomatic and political representation to Ruto's big day that will be led by U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tai. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com. As Miolo Moja chief Raila Odinga strongly rubbished claims that some top officials at his campaign secretariat squandered money meant to pay election agents, the former presidential candidate particularly singled out Sunna East MP Junette Mohammed as one of the leaders being falsely accused of mismanaging campaign funds. Since Raila's loss to President-elect William Ruto, Raila's allies have been engaged in bitter exchanges online, with some blaming the defeat on secretariat officials including Junette. Junette is a close confidant of Raila who serves as the Miolo Moja party secretary general. Cases of multidrug-resistant Klebsiella pneumonia have been reported at Kenyatta National Hospital and six of 14 babies have died. The Ministry of Health has imposed numerous strict measures to test and prevent the transmission of the bacteria. All referral health facilities must collaborate with each other to minimize cross-hospital transfer of Klebsiella pneumonia infections. The Health Ministry on Friday announced numerous measures to check the spread of infections. Baye Watoto Nan were the last words that Morina Nyango told her husband Robert Omondi. The couple were last week Tuesday expecting the birth of their twin boys and live happily thereafter, but fate had other thoughts. Negligence and incompetence among medical staff at Mamalusi Hospital claimed the life of the 28-year-old Maureen, literally snatching her from the arms of her husband Omondi. A 35-year-old man was shot dead Sunday morning after he confronted thugs who had attacked his girlfriend at an apartment in Roero, Kiambu County. Witnesses and police said the deceased Geoffrey Sigay and his girlfriend Winfred Kairothe, 34, had arrived at the apartment in two separate vehicles at 4.30 a.m. when they were confronted by armed thugs. A guard at the apartment said the vehicle carrying Winfred was the first to enter the gate followed by that of Sigay. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com.